Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Doodlebug recently released two new adorable collections and I couldn't resist picking up both of them. I know some people like to know the products that I'll be using in future videos, so I thought I would share a quick haul showing all of the goodies I purchased. If you are interested in any of the products I show in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. It has been a very hard year for me, so I really need lots of fun and cheerful products to use, and Doodlebug never disappoints. I'll show the two main collections here in a moment, but they've also released two new 6x6 paper pads in their rainbow petite print style. This first one is my favorite. It's called Plaid Polka Dot, beautiful rainbow assortment of colors. The fun thing about Doodlebug's Rainbow Petite Prints, you'll find colors to work with all of their paper collections. I always have several of their Rainbow Petite Print paper pads on hand. It's fun that they even include brown, grays, and blacks in each of the paper pads. For me, the pinks and teals always seem to disappear first. The other Rainbow Petite Print is called Candy Stripe Sprinkles. I love the tone-on-tone -tone sprinkle design, and it's always fun to have some diagonal stripe patterns. This collection also has a beautiful rainbow assortment of colors, starting from pink, red, orange, yellow, all the way through the browns, grays, and blacks. Each of the paper pads have 24 double-sided sheets. There's only one of each color, so if you want multiples, you may want to pick up a second paper pad. Both collections are also available in the 12 by 12 size, and I believe you can even purchase the sheets individually. I may go and stock up on individual sheets of pink and teal. Even in the 12 by 12 size, I think the patterns will still work just fine for cards. The next Doodlebug collection I'm showing is called Pretty Kitty. Years ago, Doodlebug had a collection called Smitten Kitten, so I was really excited to see they've released a new cat-themed paper pad. I purchased the 6x6 size, but it is available in the larger 12x12. Sometimes I like to purchase some of the individual sheets. At this point, I haven't yet, but I may later. I find the larger size works better if you want to use the cut apart images and sentiments that are included in the collection. There's a nice assortment of colors and designs in this collection. We have florals, there's tone on tone patterns, plaid. There's also several sheets of the cut aparts. Here's a sheet of the mini tags, and these are never my favorite, simply because they're so small. I give a lot of cards to the residents at a retirement home, and sometimes those smaller images can be harder to see. I'll flip around the paper pad so you can see the other side. We have polka dots, stripes, here's the back side of the mini tags. This sheet has little journaling cards. It's another thing I won't use, but I can always flip it over and use the pattern on the opposite side. Here's another cute sheet of cut aparts, and I'll probably use quite a few of these. They're not super small. Here's a cute tone on tone floral pattern, and another sheet of cut aparts. Most are smaller than the mini tags, so I'll probably use the tone on tone cat design on the other side. We have stripes, and finally, teeny tiny little polka dot design. For coordinating items, I've picked up odds and ends, and also chit chat. And I'll zoom in here so you can get a closer look. The Chit Chat collection has 95 pieces, lots of really cute sentiments. Some of the ephemera pieces are fairly large and seem to be focused more for scrapbooking, but there are usually enough sentiments that I'll use on my cards, so I like to pick them up. The Odds and Ends ephemera pack is always one of my favorites. This one includes 137 pieces, and I did pick up two of each of the die cut packs. Look at all the adorable little kitty images. With every collection, I do tend to purchase at least one roll of washi tape. Now, I very rarely use it on my cards. I like to use it on the back of the envelopes to seal them when I give the cards to the retirement home. I have two of the shape sprinkles that coordinate with the collection. The adorable little kitties is called Bitty Kitties, and the heart set is called Love You. I like to use the hearts for embellishments. I don't always purchase the Doodle Pops, but this time I decided to get several of them. They are super cute, so it's always hard to resist purchasing some. I have the kitty looking out the window at the bird, the sweet little kitty playing with a ball of yarn, 
three little kitties in a box. And two of the designs feature a dog and a cat. I think one of the Doodle Pop designs is supposed to go with the Dog Gone Cute collection, but I don't think it really makes a difference. They both work with either collection. The last couple of designs both feature a cat sitting on top of a sleeping dog. Super cute images. If you've never used Doodle Pops before, they do have quite a bit of dimension. I wouldn't recommend mailing them, but they're perfect for hand delivering or you could pop one inside a package. Doodle Bug's adorable images always make the residents at the retirement home happy. Now moving on to the other new collection called Dog Gone Cute. I'll start with the Doodle Pops. I have this sweet little dog sitting in a dog house and the little pup holding a bone. It's fun that they always add a couple other pieces along with that larger image on the Doodle Pop sets. There are also some Shaker Pops available, which are super cute, but I decided not to get them this time. I have a few of the Shape Sprinkle sets, the Puppy Love Hearts, the Top Dog Stars, and I also purchased the sheet with the dog heads, but I may have dropped it on the floor when I was doing the haul. I do have a picture of it toward the end of the video. I did purchase one roll of washi tape. It has fun, bright colored paw prints. The last thing I need is more washi tape, but I can never resist Doodlebug's designs, and I really love the quality of their washi tape. The next items are the ephemera packs. I purchased two of the chit chat and two of the odds and ends. Here's a look at the chit chat. There are 91 die cut pieces included. Again, lots of really fun sentiments. And here's a look at the odds and ends. So many adorable images. And you could easily create a lot of scene cards using Doodlebug's die cut images. The final item I purchased is the six by six paper collection of Dog Gone Cute. And again, this is available in the 12 by 12 size. I'll flip through it quickly so you can get an idea of what's included. We have some fun tone on tone patterns, stripes. This one has little bones. Lots of little paw prints, pretty plaid. Here's all the little dog heads. This one has lots of sentiments, a little scene design, tiny little hearts, more polka dots. Here's the sheet with the adorable little mini tags. They are super cute. I have nothing against them other than they're very small. Now I'll flip it around so you can see the other side. Here's the sheet with the little journaling cards, the back side of the tags. We have more polka dots. This sheet has lots of cut apart borders, another plaid design, tone on tone of paw prints. It's always nice to have non-seasonal or holiday specific paper pads. That way you can use the papers all year round. Here's the sheet with the cut apart images that I probably will use. Lots of sentiments, tone on tone grass designs, more cut apart images, not quite as small as the mini tags more polka dots, then another fun design with all their different icons. Both of the new Doodlebug collections are super cute. The hardest part will be deciding which collection to use first. So if you have a preference, let me know in the comments below. Should I use Pretty Kitty first or Dog on Cute? And I will be using both of them at some point this year. Here's another quick look at the fun Doodlebug design products I purchased. If you are interested in any of the products I showed in this video, I do have links in the description box below. And I've also included links for the entire collection if you wanna check out the rest of the goodies that are available. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.